Hello students, I am Nilanjana Sanyal. Welcome you all to my channel in this online math classes. Our today's session is on finding the solution set for a given set of linear inequalities graphically. This session assumes that you have watched my previous two videos on graphing and shading the solution set of a linear inequality containing two variables. Okay, so if you have any difficulty in understanding this video, please go and watch the previous two videos and then come back to this video. I assure you that you will be able to understand every bit of this. Okay, so without any further delay, let us start with our today's session. First of all, let us look at the inequalities given. Find the solution set of y is greater than or equal to x over 2, y is less than 2x and x plus y is less than or equal to 8. Now coming to the rules. The first rule says graph each of the linear e equations. Now this part is explained in detail in my previous two videos. Okay. So graph each of the linear equations, use a solid line if the inequality contains an equality sign, else use a dashed line. There are three inequalities given. So first of all, we will be converting them to the respective equations. The first one becomes y equals x over 2. And we have to graph this equation y equals x over 2. It will be a straight line. Graph. And it will be a solid line because it will be represented by a solid line because this inequality is having this equal to sign. So first of all, let us take the x and the y axis. And we have to get two points lying on the equation, the line graph, y equals x over 2. The first point that I have taken is the origin because when x equal to 2, y is also equal to 2 because 0 over 2 is equal to 0. So this is the first point lying on the line graph of the equation y equals x over 2. And the second point that I have taken is 4 comma 2. When x equal to 4, 4 over 2 is 2, so y equal to 2. These are the two, two points that I have taken. Now I connect these two points and this is the solid line because of this equal to sign that is present in the original inequality. This means that every point on this line will be present or will be included. Not every point we will be seeing the solution set, the region which will be bounded by this line of course. That part of this line, every point for that part of this line will be included in the solution set. Okay. What I am saying may be totally confusing, totally weird sounding at this moment, but you will be understanding after we get to the solution. Okay. Coming to the second inequality, y is less than 2x. Converting this to an equation, it will be y equal to 2x. But this time it will be a dashed line because this inequality doesn't contain the equal to sign. And I have taken the first point as the origin because when x equal to 0, y is also equal to 0. 2 times 0 is 0. And the second point that I have taken is 2 comma 4 because when x equal to 2, 2 comma 2, uh, sorry, 2 times 2 is 4. So y equals 4. So these are the two points that I have taken for this line and this time it is a dashed line y equals 2x. Finally, we come to this equation x plus y equal to 8 and it will be a solid line because of this equal to sign. But this time the, we cannot take the origin as one of the points because 0 plus 0 is not equal to 8. So we have to take two separate points. The two points that I am taking, one of them is 8 comma 0 because 8 plus 0 equal to 8 and the other one that I have taken is 0 comma 8 that is 0 plus 8 is also equal to 8. Again I am saying I am repeating you may take other sets of points for each of these three lines. Okay and now I am connecting these two points and this time again it will be a solid line because of this equal to sign. 
Now coming to the second rule. Taking each line one by one, shade the region which does not satisfy the corresponding inequality. We will be taking each line one by one and we will be each line is dividing this whole plane, the xy plane into two parts. Okay. And we will be taking a point from any of these two, two, uh, these two parts and we will be seeing whether that point is satisfying the given inequality or not. If that point is satisfying the given inequality, that means that region, all points of that region will be satisfying the given inequality. So we will be shading the other part, the opposite part which does not satisfy the corresponding inequality. Okay, you will be understanding the reason for shading the unwanted part which is not satisfying the given inequality. Okay, so first of all we take this inequality y is greater than or equal to x over 2 and we have to, this is the line y is, y is equal to x over 2. So this is separating this is dividing the xy plane into two parts this is the first part or one part this is the other part and i'll be taking i can take any point from this part or this part i am taking this point from from this part it is minus 4 comma 0 x equal to minus 4 and y equal to 0 now i'll be substituting these values I'll be substituting negative 4 for x and 0 for y in this given inequality and I'll be checking whether this inequality is getting satisfied by these two values. The right hand side is x over 2, x equal to negative 4. So negative 4 over 2 is negative 2 and the left hand side is 0. 0 is indeed greater than negative 2. So this point which is on this part of the xy plane is satisfying the given inequality. So every point on this region will be lying in this region will be satisfying this given inequality. Therefore, we will not be sh uh, shading this region rather we will be shading this region. So we shade this region. The one that I have said I have just shown this over here negative 4 over 2, this is negative 2 and this side it is 0 and 0 is greater than negative 2. It is correct. So, this part is satisfying the given inequality. Hence, we have to shade this part and we have shaded this part. Next, we come to this inequality. Y is less than 2x and what is which one is the corresponding line? This is the dashed line. Y equals 2x. This is also dividing the total whole xy plane into two parts. This is one of the parts and this is the second part. And taking the same point, negative 4 comma 0. So in this case, x equal to negative 4 and negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 and y equal to 0. And 0 is not less than negative 8. So this is a calculation that we have done. 2, 0 is less than, I have just substituted the values, 0 in place of y, I have written 0, 2 times in place of x, I have written negative 4, and 0 is not less than negative 8. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, and 0 is not less than negative 8. So this part is not satisfying this inequality. This part this region is not satisfying the given inequality so we will be shading this part okay so this is the part that is getting shaded finally we come to x plus y is less than or equal to 8 again i am taking the same point you can take different points doesn't matter whether you take the same point or you take different points okay so i am taking the same point this line is also separating the xy plane into two parts. I have taken this part is the part which is lying below, below the line. And in place of x, I'll be substituting minus 4. And in place of y, I'll be substituting 0. So this is the calculation. 
minus 4 plus 0 equal to minus 4 and this is indeed equal less than 8. It is not equal to but it is definitely less than 8. Minus 4 is less than 8. So this part, the lower part of the line, this part is getting satisfied, is satisfying every point on this part of the of the xy plane is satisfying this given inequality. So we will not be shading this part, rather we will be shading this part, the opposite part. So this is the shaded part. Okay. We always shade the part which does not correspond to the given inequality. And why do we do that? Because we want a non-shaded solution set area. If we shade the required region, then it will be a clumsy one. It will be very difficult to locate, to identify which one is our desired region. But if we keep them, keep the region that we want as the unshaded portion, it is so very visible, strikingly visible to us that this is the portion that we want. That is why we shade always the part which we do not want. Okay? Just to have our desired portion as the unshaded one. So this is the solution set. Okay? This is the rule number three. All points lying within the unshaded region S. This is the region S. And on the on in case of the solid line boundary, this is the solid line boundary, this is a solid line boundary. On all points lying on the solid line boundaries will be included in the solution set and every point lying within this region will be included in the solution set. But we cannot include any other points from the dashed line. Okay. So every point on this, within this unshaded region and every point on the solid lines, boundary lines, form the solution set of these three inequalities, linear inequalities containing two variables. Okay. So students, this brings us to the end of this session. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Please like, share and subscribe if you find this video helpful. We will be meeting very soon. Till then, bye.